Tinubu. Tinubu, I beg, I beg you, please help, some, help the nation. A few months ago, 10,000 naira, presently about 37 to 40,000. That's me, he's honestly, and. So now, one they go to school now. That one, when they go to school now, my boss, now they help me. The heart of the youth now is very, they're not even happy. Youth. Hello, my name is Miriam Badmos, and I'm here on the streets of Lagos to ask how people have been coping with the current rise of petrol prices and how it has affected their lifestyle as a whole. Honestly, it hasn't been easy for a lot of Nigerians out there, mostly like, you know, we on the streets, you know. Ever since the, uh, the rise of the fuel, you know, it hasn't been easy, you know, for people like me now. I spend a lot of times too of the transport fare that I used to go to my place. Imagine, it's not fair. How, how does the government expect us to cope with that? You know, not everybody is born with a silver spoon. At least the, the government should try and consider and look into situations like this, people on the streets. It hasn't been easy, honestly. And the truth, the, the truth is this. The heart of youth now, it's very, they're not even happy. Youth now are not even happy at all, at all, at all, at all. So the government should try and look into the situation on the ground. Honestly, because there is no joy at all. There is no joy. There is no joy. There is no joy. As I thought, self, I the I the verse for government. I the verse for government. Ah, this person could just enter. Nah, 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 nah. Just come. Ah, this just change. Imagine Obalende where they go now. Before you say they would enter Obalende hundred now. Uh, Bega now is one thousand naira. Ah, but they how much is salary now? How will they appear? It's not even change anything. Food, everything just come rise. The government just try to look into the situation. You know, fair, you know, fair. Yeah, it's really affecting it in my business. I'm an engineer, I move around. I live in Sulu Liri on a daily basis. I used to visit about two, three, four sites on the island. Oh, wow. So before my fuel tank is about 50 liters, which cost me about 10,000 naira, when it was about 200, thereabout. But now it has gotten up to about maybe 37, 30. By last week, by last week that has increased to 560 something now, it's almost. 43,000 naira, and that will not take more than two, three days. It's, it's really affecting. The petrol subsidy overall really affected us because it's actually affecting us in one way or the other because the hardship that's causing to us as uh, citizens in the country is very, very high. The petrol subsidy removal is that because our president, where it's good, to remove subsidy because all of them. Both, both, all of them that came, they are dragging power. So they are saying about fuel source CD, remove, remove, uh, removing it. But the way they will remove it, you, they will remove it, they will remove it. It's not like that. You understand? If you don't want to remove soft CD, you have to make a plan for masses. You have to make a plan. Now, as, as you are Oga, as a president, you be. Okay, fine, you remove the soft CD. Now, what you could talk, you could do for for citizen? You have to make a plan. You know, we just say uh, I will subsidy for Normally, when they remove subsidy, at least for support. Okay, fine. We are buying for before one eighty five, but now for now it's six hundred. No, you no know, support to be like that. It have to be like three hundred or three fifty. That would be okay. But now, personally, I have a car. I know how much I'm, I the receive per month. I the receive fifty thousand per month. But I live for Ikotu. They buy for every day. They come, they go, they come, they go. So you can see that salary is not, is not, is, is, is nothing. So please, I beg a government, may they do something about it because it things affect us seriously. Thanks too. Thanks too. It doesn't be easy feeding alone. Things as rice, transportation, everything. Thanks too. Because you can't be, you can't be arguing with the conductors and drivers them now because sometimes they will, they will say, okay, this is the fact that the fuel has rise. So there's no possibility you even want to drag with them or you want to brag with them because you two know that okay it's because where has rice, you understand? Imagine just from this way now to Obalende now, the coin club here that work to Obalende. We pay no less than two three hundred naira. Do you understand? From Obalende to Bega, we pay no less than one thousand five hundred naira. It's it's like it's very, very costly, it's very, very costly. Nigeria is supposed to be the giant of Africa. So the government is supposed to make life, you know, easy for the citizens, not making it tough and hard. I don't know if I'm making some sense because I know I'm speaking the hearts of the youth. Honestly, that is the verse with the as in it's not it's not easy it's not easy at all at all. So the government should try and you know look into the situation. Thank you. Maybe increase minimum, by increasing minimum wage and you know, all that you understand. A few months ago, ten thousand naira. Presently, about thirty-seven to forty thousand. Oh, that's serious. That's it's serious. A lot of it's a lot, and I will use it for maybe just three days. Wow. 
definitely I'm a dispatch rider and uh, then I normally fill my tank with 2,300 but now with 7,000 naira your tank is not filled up. Yeah, before I take 17,000 to fill my tank. I have it total advances, 17,000. Then I fill the tank before. But now it's about 47,300. Wow. Number one. You know, in Nigeria, we have always been having this problem, creating job opportunities, that is number one. I think the, the government should create more opportunities, you know, and give the youth, you know, great opportunities to be employed. You understand? Secondly, by, you know, making things lesser, like the price of things, the cost of things in the market, I think it will be, it will be a very, very, very appreciative thing to do by the government to the citizens, honestly. The government should do a way that will lessen this on people, make the road durable, uh, give us infrastructure, then help people businesses, make business easy for people to do, so that our uh, moving around will be easier. Definitely we are appealing or begging the government to do something about it, to make life easy for all the citizens of Nigeria. The only thing I want the government to do is say, please, may they reduce the price of the petrol. Because the petrol high, full stop high also, everything high. Please, only the fuel, fuel, so, fuel issue, make it reduce the price of the fuel. It's okay. Thank you very much. Please, I beg government, especially I beg, I, I beg Tinubu, our president, our daddy in the country, in the nation, say, please, make it do something about it. Because our salary is not, is nothing. Like, I have a three children. One, I want to go to school now. Even though that one, where they go to school now, God save. Now, my God, they help me. So I take God to their house with their mama for sure. So now when they go to school now, that one where they go to school now, my boss now they help me. Please, I beg you, I beg Tinubu, Tinubu, I beg you. Please help some help the nation. Please, thank you, sir.